right, so we're a little bit of a different whip today, okay? Why? Why? What am I in? This is not a minivan. It's not, I can't really zoom in back there if y'all see it, but y'all can't read backwards. Um, the Madre is getting her car fixed, so in the meantime, they gave her this loner 2018 X5. Man, when I tell y'all, this thing is, oh, yo, this thing is dope. All right, so right now I look like a bum. I know we've been doing some yard work, putting some flowers in, that sort of thing. But let's get back to this car though. 2018 BMW X5. Let's ooh, let's do a little walk around. Here. Now, one thing I do love in cars in general as time progresses is they try to put more and more convenience for you uh, in the vehicle. So, what things like this, man? Don't just give a sunroof for the front seat, give a sunroof to the back seat as well. Look at that mug. They probably took it 10 seconds to open. That And it pop up too, don't it? In the front. I'll be that gun. All right, so I don't know if you guys can really see, but that little blinking part right there, that is the heads up display. Now, on this side over here, obviously you can see it's telling you zero miles an hour. That's telling you how fast you're going. Now this white square on the left, whatever road you want, it tells you the speed limit for that road. Don't know if that's supposed to help you or the police when you get pulled over. Not really sure. Now, one thing I really do like and I would love to have in my car is this dash. I mean, the gauges, the way the display pops up, this thing is freaking beautiful. beautiful. Now, this screen here, it is touch screen. So if you're, you know, into that, you have that option for a lot of your things here. It is touch screen, but it also uh, does use this drive down here as well. You use the little knob to get the things that you need to get to. Uh, 2018 X5 does come with four driving modes. It has the eco mode, the comfort mode, there's a sport and a sport plus. So, I'm just gonna make a little run to Sonic. That's all we're gonna do. Nothing extravagant. All right, so all I did was press this button here and it brings up this thing right here. Oh, I don't know if that, talk to me. So, green, we've got all kind of stuff on here. Lane departure. I think it's cool. Pedestrian warning, frontal collision warning. That's why that camera's up there. And then active blind spot detection, which if you can see, they don't have the annoying thing in the mirror. It's actually right here on the side of it. I like that. Now, to me, in comparison, this car to this car here, disregard that beauty back there. We're talking about this one and this one. We're going from 2001 to 2018 here. Things I like and things I don't like compared between the two. Obviously the electronic standpoint, I mean, I do like that everything's been upgraded. The heads up display, I would love to have in this car, but when it comes to driving, I bought this car because I'm into cars and I love the way it drives. It reacts when I react. It does when I want to. It sounds amazing. This car here, I would buy for Haley. Um, and it drives super comfortable. The seats, I mean, the seats, 
these things, let's look at them one more time. This right here, anytime you get in the vehicle and I see buttons down here like this, it's gonna be a good ride. Let's take a look at old faithful seats here. We got a couple buttons, you know? We, it's a good ride still, I'm not gonna lie. It's good, it's comfortable, I love the way it rides. BMW is pretty consistent when it comes to the interior and the comfort level throughout all of their cars. Um, if I could buy anything 2018 model wise from BMW, it's going to be the new M5 for sure. Because I mean, 600, 600 brake horsepower and an all wheel drive vehicle. I mean, GTR is better to be on the lookout. Better be on the lookout. Well, let's, let's get back into my vehicle because this right here, this is why I love this car right here. can't beat that right there. I get a sunroof too. It don't go all the way back, but you know, I'm, you never know. I may cut the roof out and, you know, put one in there just because, but this, y'all catch me at any stoplight. We can run them. I'm letting you know. So we're out here. I'm out, I'm out here. Haley's just riding. We went to Sonic. Snap on a couple pictures of the Beamer, but let me run back over here because there is a gym. Gym. I saw it driving the other day and I just so happened to catch it again today. Locally owned Acura NSX. Man, that thing is like in mint condition. Look at that. There's also another gentleman that here in the area that has like mint condition nothing aftermarket supra it's almost in the same color red almost mm -hmm. 